Greetings, my friends. Sometimes it's very frustrating when people blow me off. Uh, I put word out, the Holy Spirit gives me, and the word that I put out comes to pass. It's not because I'm anything. I'm not. I listen to the Holy Spirit. He's the one that has the word. He's the one that tells me what's going on, and I share it with you. But so many people blow me off, man. It, but you, you know what? It's fine, because uh, they won't be, when they're left behind, if they miss the rapture or if they end up in hell, or if they end up in a bad situation, they weren't listening to the warnings that, that the Holy Spirit gave me to gave them. And here's just another example of it. I told you, I've been telling you guys for months and months, and again, the beauty of video is it's on file. It's, it's, it's on record. It's a permanent record. People can see what you said and didn't say. I told you months and months and months and months ago that a global famine was coming. Okay. Now, the UN, the UN's head of food just said this. Global famine's on the way. He said that we're now taking food from the hungry and giving it to the starving. That breaks my heart. Taking food from the hungry, those who don't have much food to begin with, they're hungry, and giving it to the starving, those who are so hungry, they're about to die if they don't eat. And then the hungry that lost their food for the starving will then become the starving, and then so on and so on. It's a vicious cycle, an endless circle. I just don't, I don't know what to say. I've been telling you it's coming. If you go to the grocery store like me, you see, I've done videos again. I, 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 I took you to my grocery bag one time and showed you the prices. It's like crickets. Very few people even care. All I can do is put the word out. I can lead you to the water. Can't make you drink. Here's what happened. David Beasley, the executive director of the United Nations World Food Program said, because of the global food crisis. Now, we're in a crisis. A famine is near. Again, he quoting him, we're taking food from the hungry to give to the starving. Jesus fed the 5,000 with, with the loaves and the fish. There's always been a need for food. People have been hungry. Joseph and his brothers had a famine in Egypt. In Egypt. Joseph had, the, had all this, the food stocked up in Egypt so they could be able to share, even with his family in other countries they could come and buy. Very few people stock up on food or prepare to help others. You don't stock up on food <clears throat> so you can be greedy. You do it to help others in need because there'll be a time, it's coming soon, where your neighbors are going to be starving and if you have extra food to give them, you can help them and when you help them, a hungry mouth that's given food their ears and their brain and their heart are much more receptive to Jesus Christ when you're helping them out. And it's something you need to plan on. When you go to the store, I know that money is tight. Grab a couple extra packs of, of even instant potatoes or, or rice or anything you can that, that's shelf-stable, some canned food. To be able to help others out besides yourself when the world famine happens. If the rapture doesn't happen first, but again, sadly, so many Christians are going to be left behind. I submit to you that I believe in my heart of hearts that 98 to 99 percent of those who identify as Christians will be left behind at the imminent rapture because they a are not Christian at all that they never asked Jesus Christ to be their Lord and Savior or b Jesus said that all not most not some not not, not the majority but all who come to me and ask shall be saved those who are saved have become backslidden they, their their hearts become calloused and they don't repent they don't believe believeth believing endure, endureth, enduring, those words that are past, present, future tense in Greek, which was the New Testament was written in, by the way, it wasn't written in your language, arrogant Christians, you'd be left behind. When you find out you're left behind, don't don't, don't even try to blame me on Judgment Day, because I, I got a feeling you'll be shut down. I've told you over and over and over again, like, like, like a, a broken record on repeat, like a parrot on repeat. The rapture is soon, all the signs are here, a great famine, a great Pestilence and disease is all part of the, of the end times, the tribulation. Those things are coming upon us fast, my friends. The rapture is its so close, I can see it, I can smell it, I can taste it, I can feel it. Don't be left behind. Jesus Christ is all of our only hopes. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box for the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. I love you all with all of my heart. If you look up true Christians, our redemption draweth nigh, we fly soon. May God bless you. Make sure you share this video, get the word out. And again, if you just blow it off and say, hey, whatever, that's up to you. All I can do is tell you what's going on and warn you. Can't wait to meet those of you who make it to heaven and hang out with you forever. Grace from the cesspool. I love you. May God bless you. Take care and share.